Hey guys, it's Sicardis and welcome back. In today's deck review, I'm going to be reviewing the Bicycle Carnival Dose Redux Edition. So this is the Carnival Dose, but in a red colour. It's a really, really cool deck of cards. This is brought out by Big Blind Media and printed by the United States Playing Card Company. Also, there was 2,500 of this deck printed, and it was printed in 2015. It's quite a recent deck of cards. Now, actually, they've got a deal on at Big Blind Media. I wanted to mention to you, for £30, they are doing six decks of carnival decks and an uncut sheet for only £30. That's just crazy, because the decks that you get, you receive a new Carnival Midnight Purple, you receive a new Carnival Dose Red Edition. You receive the classic Carnival Dead Eyes and the Raijin, and also the Midnights, the one that started it all off. And that's just crazy that you get all of that for just £30, and I think that's all around an amazing deal. And also, it's actually limited to 30 sets, and when I've looked, there's only like 20 sets left. So it's really worth heading over there to grab the set, because you get an uncut sheet of a Carnival deck and six decks. So head over there, but let's get straight on into this deck. Okay, so let's go on with the tuck case. So as you can see, it has a nice black colour just in the background to make the red really, really pop. Before it was white, but it has a bicycle there with the like the kind of the face there with the dripping paint, and it looks like it's been kind of spray painted on. It comes with the effect of the dripping effect there with like plasters over its sides with a stitched up mouth. Very cool, very gothical, and it has Carnival Dose Redux Edition just there, and it looks really really cool. It's not like it's not like a reflective, and it's just literally just um, red, but for some reason in the light it looks a little bit different. On the side is there, you can see brought to you by www.carnivalinc.com, so Big Blind Media. And even on the other side, it has complete the circle of awesome, just on the side there, and I think that is pretty awesome there itself, so you receive that. On the bottom, it has some of the barcode, as a corporate information just there about Carnival, and on the top, it has a USPCC black seal with the same face there and there. And then you get to the back design, you can see it has a really, really nice fin border with a black border, it shows here, with a mirrored back, but inside it's actually white. But you can see it has nice red and it's dripping into one to make it a mirrored back with this nice kind of pattern in the background that really stands out and pops. Even when you pop the tab, you can see it has some corporate information there, and it's white inside. Would have been cool with a nice dark red in there or a black, but all round, let's have a look what it's like inside. Okay, so let's get on with the deck. So as you can see the back design, it has a nice white border, but not as thin as it actually was actually shown on the tuck case. You can see it has a nice pattern in the background with the red, and it's quite a dark red actually, with the red face there and there dripping down into one to make it a mirrored back. And what that means is if you flip it over, it's absolutely identical. On the corners, it has a nice little wave effect there just in the corners, so it makes it a little bit different. So when you actually do a fan, you can see it gives it a little bit of a nicer effect. Now we're going to move on to what you actually receive for this deck. So you receive two extra cards here. You receive one that is basically an advertisement card for Carnival and it just tells you what they do, t-shirts, hoodies and etc. So it's just an advertisement for them there. So check them out, link in the description below anyways. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> then you receive another card and it looks just like a Joker but it's not and it says you will choose the four of clubs. So you receive one um, card that's a reveal and it's actually like a stick man um, with like the same face there as well, so it's the same little face, and I think that's awesome, really, really cool. And then you move on to the Jokers. Now we'll move on to the Jokers, and you can see that they are really, really dark in colour. You've got more of the red effect going on. It has a skull there with a top hat. It has Joker Joker, and the artwork design is amazing. You can see the first one has a top hat, and then if you reveal it, it has an Ace of Hearts reveal. And I think that's cool, you get two reveals, just from the get go. So two reveals in a deck for only like five pounds a deck is really, really worth it. So that's what makes this deck stand out for me anyways. Then we're gonna move on to the rest of the cards. You can see the whole way through, they're basically custom, apart from the way that they actually have just been got like a design behind them. So how it would work is for the Ace of Spades, you can see it has Ace, Ace, and then it has a really, really detailed Ace of Spades with a nice red, dark Ace, with a nice pattern going on with Carnival there, 
dose, really, really nice with a skeleton on top, very, very detailed, very gothic, and a lot of these cards will actually have this, like a border, like a little picture frame inside, with a different artwork behind the pips, so it looks quite unique in a way. But we'll move on to the other pips now. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the rest of the pips. So as you can see straight away, it continues with the spades. They have like a red color to them, and it looks like they have like skulls behind. And you can see it continues the whole way through with this nice detail in the background with all different writing skulls, very gothic -y, but it's really, really awesome there. And you can see it even goes to the royalty. But with the royalty, the Jack Queen King, you can see it actually comes with their heads actually covered over uh, with their faces. So you can see it has the kind of crosses and their mouths actually stitched up there. And I think that really makes it for a cool effect. They look very dark uh, with the color of the red shadow over the top. So it makes it very, very cool as you can see. And it really stands out. They are very, it's a very standard deck of cards but they've customized it, so I believe this will be custom in my mind. But we're gonna move on to the rest of them anyway. Okay, so we'll move on to the rest of the pips. So as you can see, even with the diamonds, you get four custom diamonds, sorry, four custom uh, aces, and it continues the whole way through even with the diamonds. And even when you get to the royalty of the diamonds, it's exactly the same, the same idea, their face is covered, and it continues even for the clubs, and even for the diamonds that are in the hearts, as you can see. So there's not like a lot of difference in this deck. It's quite similar to the original. They've just done a little bit more of red shading to the deck. And that's a lot of the biggest difference I've noticed with this deck itself. But all around, as we've seen the deck, what's it like for handling? Yeah, so I've got to say, a lot of the carnival decks actually have a lot of ink on them. So to just say springs or dribbles sometimes can be harder because they've got a lot of ink and they can chip sometimes. But with this deck, you'll have no issues with it. You can see even just doing a fan looks really, really nice. Even just in the back, you can see the back design has this unique pattern around the outside. And even just doing a simple riffle shuffle, I know that people go, every deck can riffle shuffle. But I just like to show you anyway. It's quite a heavier stock actually, I've got to say. The stock feels a lot heavier and you can tell. Even just doing a Charlier cut or even a car production is quite nice. And even just doing, say, a double lift or a color change can be done as well. And that's what I really dig with this deck. Now for say, I would say you can do this for cardistry. I think it'll be a very good deck for Halloween to perform magic with. It does cut in the hands very easily, I've got to say. <coughs> Excuse me. And it spreads in the hands as well nicely. All round, I would say it's pretty cool, even if you were doing, say, an example of you know, a certain flourishes as well that I'm not very good at, but I like to admit that I'm not good at that so people can just carry on moaning anyway. But you can see I do try my best uh, as I am trying, but even doing, say, false shuffles of the deck, you can do as well. But all around, this is a very nice deck of cards to pick up from Big Blind Media. Link in the description below. Make sure you check it out. That's it, guys. Give the video a big old like just down there. Just comment what you thought of this deck. Give it a subscribe up there and check out previous video just up there. That's it. See you guys in the next one.